We're just two days away now from the caucus, and state Democrats have been working around the clock to avoid that app related chaos they saw in Iowa a few weeks ago. So instead, Nevada is going to be using iPads. And tonight, volunteers had the chance to try out that technology. Sasha Loftus attended a special training seminar tonight, and she joins us now with an update. Sasha? Yes, Denise, dozens of volunteers came out tonight to learn as much as they can before they participate in Saturday's main event. They tried out those iPads they'll use and went over the manual caucus math system. Those I spoke with say this training makes them feel ready to handle the worst. Are ready to go for Saturday. It always is um, great. Very... Patricia Thorne lines up to learn more. What to expect at a caucus? As she gears up for the Nevada caucus. I was really excited to to uh, participate in the caucus when I first came here. Thorne is one of many volunteers getting ready for her role this weekend. Will my vote still be counted? With this Democratic Caucus training seminar. I like this process, that it's two steps. After Iowa's failed experience with a result calculating app, Organizers will use iPads to count votes locally with a second paper system on standby. And then I'm going to click next. The party had a backup plan because they were required to have a backup plan under our rules of engagement. But party leaders are also giving volunteers plenty of chances to practice with iPads in person so they know what to expect come Saturday. I think because we had so many early voters that that may take a little bit of the onus off the caucus side. So while some say mistakes and glitches could still cause chaos for caucus goers, we have been trained several times, so I'm not totally nervous. They hope their efforts to prepare for the worst will help them bring the best results. Now, Nevada Democrats have two more in-person training sessions tomorrow and a few webinars available for volunteers as well. If you'd like more information, we have that link to our website. That's 8newsnow.com. Denise.